So for me, it's all about paying it forward. Trees for future generations. that hedge years ago. He decided to go with cedar trees rather than something more traditional like an arborvita hedge. I'm sure that's because he wanted to quickly establish privacy and the western red cedar really is a very fast-growing evergreen. Actually I kind of wish he would have gone with arborvita rather than the cedar trees. It looks great right now, just about the right height and everything, but because it's going to continue to grow very fast, I'm going to have to trim it back a lot more frequently. There had been three stunted trees right here on the end. This was always the shady spot, even before I, I put the uh, barn shed in. When we decided to put in the girl goat shelter, those three trees were just kind of out of place. So I decided to go ahead and dig them up so I could plant them somewhere else later. Well, now is later. It's still fall, and this time of year is one of the best for transplanting evergreens. The trees this time of year aren't trying to grow bigger, they're just trying to kind of hunker down for the coming winter. Anyway, it may be hard to see, but I put these three trees just kind of down into the soft mud of this creek. They're pretty good size, even though they were stunted for the hedge that they were part of. And transplanting things this large is a little tricky. I just simply wasn't able to get as much of the root system out of the ground as I would have liked. So it's anyone's guess whether these trees will make it or not. I've pre-dug some holes. They're going to grow here in our ravine and eventually their root systems, if they survive, will help stabilize the slope out here.
this twine is just something I had on hand. It's what had held the hay bales for our goats together.
some of you out there might be wondering why am I planting more trees in the forest? Maybe you've looked around and you've seen a lot of trees. Well, that's true, but most of them are really large trees. You don't see a lot of small ones. So for me, it's all about paying it forward. Trees for future generations.